What's up, YouTube? I'm Casey with bestinvestingapps.com. I want to say thanks to everyone for getting this channel to over 1,000 subscribers. That's pretty impressive to me. And today we're going to dive in depth to something that's been causing a lot of you some confusion, and that is managing and creating pies with M1 Finance. So we're going to do that in detail. Let me apologize first for the weird editing. You may see some colored boxes on the screen. At times, those are covering up my account information because M1 has account numbers all over like every single screen that I'm trying to use for this video. So it's been pretty challenging. I'm trying to do the best I can with it. Let's get to it. First things first, when you log in, I want you to click the My Pies tab at the top. It's going to bring you to this screen. Yours may look slightly different. I'm going to explain this all in detail. There are three segments of the screen. The unused pie segment says I have no unused pies right now, which I don't. The my portfolio segment right here, which is it represents the pie that's being used in the current portfolio selection. So right now, if you look up here in the corner, I'm going to click this drop down. Whoop, here it comes. And this little blue tab on the side here is showing me that I have my Roth IRA account selected. So this my portfolio is representing what's in the Roth IRA and I actually named my pie IRA portfolio so I know it helps me with confusion you can name these pies I'll show you how in a minute. So anyways, Roth IRA currently selected, the portfolio that's in that is right here. The ones that show up down here in other portfolios, these are pies that are being used elsewhere. So if I click on my individual account, you'll notice that the pie switches up here. So now the IRA portfolio is in the other portfolio section. The main pie that I've named mine is up there. So these titles here, you can name anything. So as I switch back to Roth, Roth IRA shows up up here. This is important to know because a lot of people get confused. You can't tell what pie is being used where. This is how you can tell from this screen. The next thing I want to mention is this little triangle drop down arrow over here on the side it's actually um, only going to show up you see it doesn't show up down here it only shows up on pies that are made up of other pies i know that's kind of confusing but what i've done here is i made my main pie i labeled it my main pie because i want both of these accounts my roth and my individual to be invested the same way I just made my main pie, I created that the way I wanted it to be, and then I invested my IRA portfolio into the main pie. I know that's confusing, but you can do pies within pies, and that's what I did there. So you can see that my IRA portfolio is actually just made up of my main pie. So in reality, both my IRA and my individual account here and here are really just made up of my main pie. All right, so what's up with the pie within a pie thing? I get that question a lot, and it's tricky. Let's look at my main pie, because remember, that's the one pie that I use right now. So this is my main pie. I can rename it right here to anything I want just by clicking on the title. You can do the same thing. And then put a little description in here. You can name this whatever you want, so you remember. You can name it like, this is the one pie that I use, the only pie that I use. Um, and then there's a little plus button here. You can actually share this, like I can share the link with you all and you could actually use this pie in your investments, which is sort of neat. I might do that in the future. Um, anyways, so this is the main pie. We're gonna scroll down and see what it's made up of. Down here, and I apologize for the colored boxes again, they're being used to cover up account information. Down here is what this pie is made up of. You can make up your pies out of anything you want. That's not what we're talking about right now. Now we've seen what's in this pie. This is the main pie. Let's go check out the IRA pie. Remember, I have my IRA made up of the main pie. So we click on the IRA portfolio pie. Boom. And then I scroll down. Bam. This is actually 100% made up of the main pie. And if I click on the main pie, well, what's the main pie made up of? Boom. Here it is. It just takes you right back in a circle. So it's a pie within a pie. They're being used. I'm using them in this case so that I don't have to create an extra pie since I want both accounts to be following the same investment strategy at the moment. So the one part that we haven't talked about yet is the unused pies section. Now if I want to create a new pie without actually applying it to my account, this is important because if you mess around with your portfolio, 
that's attached to your account. So if you click on portfolio up here and then you mess around with the pie, let me go over to individual. You mess around with this, it's going to alter in real time what's happening with your investments. You might not want to do that. So you come over to my pies, you want to make a pie without actually having it live. You come in here to the unused section, create a new pie. This is where you make your new pie. So I want some Amazon. I want some Apple. Um, I want something with communication services, whatever. You, I'm just making stuff up here. Get whatever items you want. Search things up. Find the stuff that you want to have. I want some of this. Why not? Add that in there. Boom. Click add right here. Now it's going to create a brand new pie. It labeled it 222-2018. I click on my pies. You'll see that it just showed up up here under unused. It's not being used right now. This isn't messing with my actual portfolio. It will if I add it, but it's not right now. So I come in here. I want to name this so that I don't forget what it is. And then I'll put a description not being used yet. Work in progress. Boom. And then I save those changes and I come back to my pies. Here we go. Under unused, we have the test pie not being used yet. Bada bing, bada boom. Not so bad, huh? That wraps up our video on how to make and manage pies with M1 Finance. If you have any tips and tricks of your own or you do it differently, leave us a comment in the comments below. I always take a look at all of those, so I'll be sure to read up. Thanks for taking the time to get us over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. And don't forget to check the show notes below. I will have my M1 Finance referral link where you will get $10 if you sign up using my link down below.